Hey everybody, Mark here, and thank you so much for joining us for this Menlo Moments podcast featuring Oliver and Robin Capio. They may be familiar to you if you join us at our Mountain View or San Mateo campuses, and I hope that you find their story of how they met, how God met them in some tough circumstances, and how ultimately community has played an integral part of their relationship with God, as inspiring as I have found it. So now let's go ahead and jump into this Menlo Moments podcast. I'm Robin Capio. This is Oliver Capio, and, and this, this is, is our, our Menlo, Menlo moment. moment. Thank you so much for being with us, Robin. And Oliver, I'm very excited for this conversation because your story, um, when we were talking about this beforehand, I just thought it was so fun. And like, we were just in um, our, this is, we're recording in our central building. And as like before this conversation even got started, we couldn't make it 10 feet without people saying hi to you and you running into <laughs> different campus team members. And so I'd love for us just to have this time and hear a little bit more about your story. And so let's start with you, Robin. Where'd yeah. you grow up? Um, uh -huh. What was your what was your home life like? And what was yeah, let's yeah. talk about that. So I grew up in Waukesha, Wisconsin, which is okay. a suburb of Milwaukee. Sounds sure. like you've heard of it. Perhaps. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And um and I was the oldest of three girls. I still okay. am the oldest of three girls. Okay. And um, had loving parents, and they were married almost 53 years wow. uh, when my father passed away in, uh, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe it was when I was about eight, we started attending a, a church, uh, a non-denominational mega church there in, in uh, just outside Milwaukee. Um, and we quickly got very involved in the church mm -hmm. and um, in all the ministries. I was, I think it was in third grade, and we had this um, program called Pioneer Girls. And, okay. Uh, sort of like Girl Scouts, but, uh -huh. you know, Christ-centered. Okay. Like we'd earn badges and things like sure. that. Anyway, um, yeah, I got involved in that and in Sunday school. Anyway, it was it was a wonderful experience. I loved going to church yeah. and yeah. my closest friends were from for, were from church. Okay. And um I went to public school mm -hmm. and um then when I graduated, well, before I graduated, I decided I wanted to go to a Christian school. Okay. And um so I went to Calvin College in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Sure. And studied nursing. And yeah. uh, and then both of my sisters followed me there. Oh, um, that's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then two of my nieces have graduated from there no as way. well. Okay. So yeah. Um, and I stayed there in sure. in Grand Rapids yeah. and uh, eventually got married. Um, not to him, to be continued. But mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. uh, and then. Uh, my husband and I kind of on a whim decided we wanted to move to Spain. And so we moved right. to Spain and um, eventually we got involved with ministry with YWAM and 24-7 um, Prayer. Uh, and both of our kids were born there, one in Madrid, one in Sevilla. Okay. Um, and then we came back in 2010 and I'll leave it at that for for now great okay and what was um what was your spiritual life like growing up did you mm -hmm. attend church a lot was it something in your family that was oh yeah yeah yes we were at church all the time oh okay and um yeah my parents taught sunday school oh no way and mm -hmm. i um was involved we had a like a uh, acting ministry for middle school oh. kids that I was a part of, and that was really fun. I feel like our friend Jessica Havens on staff would <laughs> love that ministry. Uh -huh. That's just up her alley. Sorry. Yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> yeah. We would do skits for Sunday school classes or oh, the church, sure. or we went to the Ethan Allen School for Boys, which was like a reform school. I remember okay. we did some skits there. Uh -huh. And then every year, the the... the church put on a big Easter production and so yeah. I participated in that too oh. um, so yeah I think if you go to my parents house there's probably like there are Bibles everywhere and it feels I would see a one Bible with a you know a, a 
Bible study kind of stuck in it, okay. and then there's another one over here, sure. and and so yeah, it was very important. Um, you know, in in college, it was uh, there were. I think I went through a spell where I didn't go to church sure. and kind of mm -hmm. was doubting things, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, but I think also through that time, really, you know, found. Christ for myself, yeah. you know, and, yeah. um, and I was, all, and then I was, I've been involved in church ever since I stopped going for a while in college okay. and then got mm. involved in church and ministry. And yeah. I was a, a student ministry, um, volunteer and, yeah. and back when I was in college and, um, I had a really cool opportunity to visit, um, the Holy Land in okay. in 35, 25? No, I didn't mean, 25 years ago. Sure. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So. Your story seems all very similar to mine, um, <laughs> but I also kind of grew up in a Christian household. My mom was actually my children's minister growing up. Mm -hmm. And so there's a, a weird mix of going to church during the week to play backyard baseball on the computer when my mom was at work and then going to that same space on Sunday and being in Sunday school, uh -huh. um, but went off to college, didn't really attend regularly or anything like that. But mm -hmm. when when I returned back to church after that, it's when I kind of found Jesus for myself. So mm -hmm. there is some similarities there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's awesome. Oliver, what about you, man? Are you also, <laughs> are you no, a Wisconsinite as well? No, I grew up in California. Okay. Born and raised yeah. uh, in this Bay Area. Cool. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Where in the Bay Area? Uh, like Santa Clara, mm -hmm. Sunnyvale, mm -hmm. uh, area. So great. Grew up pretty much most of my life. Uh -huh. Um, but what, what elementary school and middle school did you go to? Uh, I actually started off. So my parents were like hardcore Catholics. Ah, okay. You know, mm -hmm. you have statues everywhere and sure. pray and stuff. Uh, you know, I would go to school, you know, I was, I was in and out like parochial school. I went to St. Lawrence and okay. went to Bracker, got kicked out and went to Ke Bracker and did new school. Then I went back to high school. <laughs> I went to St. Francis. So, ah, okay. So, which mm -hmm. is down the street from the Mountain View campus. Sure. So, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, it's like, um, as I mentioned, like, uh, you know, my parents were very religious. Yeah. They liked to pray, to go to church mm -hmm. every Sunday. And, mm -hmm. and, the thing is, like, I was a big f football fan, so um, right. I was a Niner fan, and I didn't want to miss a game, so I, like, became, a, like, a, an altar boy so I could control the schedule <laughs> and say, like, oh, I look at the 49ers game, like, oh, they don't have a game here, so I'll be an altar boy. <laughs> what a move. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll serve that. It's very yeah. strategic. <laughs> so, but, yeah, but it was, like, um, it was... As far as like yeah, church life that was that was most mostly just going through mm -hmm. the schools and systems and sure, you know it's uh, you know just thinking about it like you know how my mom would have like a baby statue of Jesus in her car okay. and I was thinking that may be a good theft de deterrent because she would leave all kinds of stuff <laughs> in the car but nobody breaks in her car so Aww. I was thinking maybe they're afraid of, uh, of baby <laughs> Jesus who knows <laughs> that's really funny but. Yeah. Yeah. So after high school, I went to, um, I got, I went to, uh, um, San Jose state for like a little bit and sure. got in a car accident and oh. that sort of changed my life. Okay. Um, and decided to go to, uh, you know, make, make my mom happy and have her go. I went, decided to go to Loyola Marymount down in LA. Yeah. So, you know, went to uh, college there, finish, finish off, you know, and got involved with a lot of the, uh, uh, church activities there. Mm, mm -hmm. um, then after college, I couldn't find a church, you know, and really... Were you down there? Did you I was, I was down in, there down still. There. Okay. I got a job at a startup. Mm. It was uh, in, it was called Knowledge Adventure. We made a bunch of software okay. and uh, for little kids, and it was a great run. Uh -huh. uh, so I just never found that, you know, as far as like church life and you know i got um you know i moved back up here and uh then i got you know met my wife my my ex 
Mm. And we had three kids and, Mm -hmm. you know, it's, you know, we haven't been really attending church a lot. We're even worse than a CE, you know, Christmas, Easter, you know, we (laughs) go there more like my parents, but, you know, I I think it was kind of hard and at least for my mom and I'm sure she wanted me to go to church more. Mm -hmm. Um, When you say go to church, if your mom is Catholic and were you attending when you got back up here? Catholic Church, or you attending? Yeah, more a Catholic. Yep. I didn't, you know, mm-hmm. looked at anything else. So yeah, interesting. And then somewhere along the way, you made a shift. Yeah, I made a shift. Uh, that's when, um, when my, uh, you know, after thirteen years, almost thirteen years of marriage, like, uh, you know, my wife decided to she wanted a separation, mm. you know, and mm-hmm. I was devastated. Yeah. I didn't know what's going on and. Like, uh, you know, my heart was broken. I was going, going through all kinds of things. I, like, I don't, I didn't understand. Like Mm -hmm. I didn't, we didn't get any fights or anything. It was Mm -hmm. what was wrong. So Mm -hmm. I read, went through a lot of support groups. Mm -hmm. There was one here in Menlo, the uh, recovery group and, uh, that I did attend and there's various ones and, but everybody have one, something in common. It was all scripture based. It's all Jesus based. Mm Um, and it's like, you know, a year later, a friend of mine, uh, Jim, mm-hmm. uh, Jang, he actually, at our, our kids' walkathon, he asked me to attend, uh, he invited me to go to Christmas uh, service here. Okay. And then, like, you know, it was like a big Christmas, at the Christmas concert here in Melo is really like a big thing at yeah. the time. Okay. It's like, you know, it's like a big concert. You like, mm-hmm. come in here, it's like mm-hmm. a long line and people serving food. And it was just like, as once we got into the church, you know, we started singing all these uh, music, you know, Christmas carols and everything. It's like, wait, this is, this is what I, you know, I used to, you know, I felt like God was calling me back mm. and it's like, he never left me. Wow. And and it's just, that's how I got, you know, I'm like, this has, this is the church and, the, and this is the music I know, you know, even though it's not, you know, I grew up in the Catholic church, yeah. the same music, yeah. <laughs> same God, same everything. So it's oh. just like, so yeah. So I decided to go to um, Menlo and yeah. over in Mountain View, cause that's where uh, uh, my friend goes and, you know, he happened to coach my daughters and uh, in softball and, okay. and he, you know, our kids know each other, so it was great, and it worked out, and I, since then, I got involved with, like, volunteering, and, you know, within the church, and, you know, yeah. get this starting point, and, like, okay. uh, mm-hmm. you know, and became a greeter over there. Yeah. Wow. What was the shift like for you, going from Catholic upbringing to Christian upbringing? Do you feel, like, you kind of alluded that there was a lot of overlap there, there's the same God. Was it for you a pretty easy transition? What was that like? The biggest thing was music. Yeah. You know, that that's what I miss. You know, even though it was a Catholic school, you know, like in high school and, and when I was going to church in, in Loyola, Miramont, yeah. there was music there and that's just okay. brought me, there was just young people playing music and then they had music here and I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he sold me, you know, uh-huh. and, you know, and also yeah. I, I like the fact that, you know, at the time uh, in Mount View, it was... Scott Palmbush was the uh, pastor over okay. there. And yep. was, you talked Love about Scott. sports a lot, and I'm like, hey, I'm a sport okay. guy too, kind of. <laughs> nice. Nice, yeah. He brought it into, you know, in a way, and I could relate to a lot sure. of the stuff that he talks about. Sure. Know? That's great. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Um, and so we heard about how you got to Menlo. How did you find yourself at Menlo? So um, in 2016, mm-hmm. my husband um got a job offer in san francisco and so we uh decided to move out here and um he had moved out here before we did Mm -hmm. we being the kids and i um and we came out during our spring break the kids spring break uh to visit Mm -hmm. and at that point we didn't know where we were going to live um he was kind of bouncing around from Airbnb, kind of all around the Bay Area, trying to get a feel of, of the area. Mm-hmm. And we, when we came out, we ended up staying at an Airbnb in Millbrae. Um, 
And I had been re researching churches around the area, but then I think because we were going to be in Millbrae, I looked to see if there were churches around. Um, and I think it was, I found somebody's blog who mentioned Menlo Church. And so um, I looked it up and, and saw, okay, well, San Mateo it is, the, is close. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know at that time it was a multi-site church and that it was, okay. you yep. know, video broadcast and so on. Um, so I went, anyway, I went to the site and found that Eugene Lee was the, um, the pastor there. Yeah. I thought, okay, well, I'm going to see if I can find a teaching by Eugene. Um, and I did on Vimeo and watched yeah. the teaching uh -huh. and, mm -hmm. uh, really liked it. And then immediately after, you know, you watch one video and another video, like here, here's the next one you might sure. like. Uh -huh. And the still of it was of my brother-in-law doing a seminar at Mount, at Menlo Church. Whoa. And okay. <laughs> he was a, a small a pastor in uh, in El Dorado Hills at the time okay. and a lot of focus on small groups and so on. So um, I was like, oh, wow. And I thought, well, I'm going to see what, you know, see, watch this video. And so then it started. And then I saw my the sweet mate from my freshman year of college was introducing him and that was Rachel Palmbush. And no so way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we hadn't stayed in touch or anything. I knew that Rachel knew my brother in law from back in Michigan. But wow. um anyway I thought, oh that's a good sign. I think I'll we'll check out this sure. church. So we came on we were here for two Sundays actually mm -hmm. and we came and the kids went to the kids ministry and they loved it mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um kind of recently i was going through photos and i saw photos i had taken of the first time we were here and the kids were in the kids room playing after the service was done like they didn't want to leave um wow they tell me it was the donuts that drew them in it's but... always the donuts <laughs> always the donuts <laughs> um so we decided to come back the following sunday mm -hmm. And I really felt like this this is it. This is where I want to go. I still didn't know where we we're going to live. Sure. Um, so I signed up for uh, like on the mailing list to get information about the kids ministry and so uh -huh. on. Uh, so that was in April. And then um, we moved out here in um, in August and I had gotten an email that said there was going to be a sixth grade boys bo bowling, a sixth grade boys bowling bowling event um sounds awesome it was like <laughs> two or three days after we had moved here and i asked my son who was going to be in sixth grade you know do you want to go and he's like yeah i want to go wow, so what a brave guy <laughs> yeah and we ended up we ended up living in hayward so okay. that's where we yeah. landed mm -hmm. um and he came and had a great time and ended up meeting uh his best friend oh. who became his best friend for yeah. for a few years and um yeah, so it just felt like so welcoming and sure. comfortable and yeah. loved the teaching. Then got to know John Ortberg, well, yep. not personally, but, you know, sure. on the Through screen. Messages. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. But met Eugene and everybody was just, yeah, very helpful. And we told them, you know, we just moved here. Mm. And um, do you happen to know anybody who lives in the East Bay? And I think there was another couple who lived over there. They had really... A, a baby i think but um anyway we met yeah i'm just like yay east bayers crossing the crossing the Doing bridge it. Yep. making the bridge journey yeah and so um yeah so that's how we kind of uh found mm -hmm. menlo church mm -hmm. and then um about a month after we moved here uh, my husband told me he wanted a divorce mm. and, um, yeah, my world came crashing in on me. Uh, like, you know, what the, the word that Oliver used devastation, you know, it was devastating. Wow. I had just left everything, my home, my friends, my family, my church, my, the school, my job. Mm -hmm. Um, and my kids had just left everything too. Mm. And so, you know, where do I go? And I was like, well, I have Menlo. Mm. And I, I don't think we really knew anybody at that time. Um, but a few days later, I went to church with the kids. And I saw in the bulletin 
um, information about mothers together. And um, I said, well, I'm going to go. And it was on Mondays. And I'm like, I'm, okay, I'm going to go there. I feel like that's, you know, I was devastated. I was alone. And wow. I saw, okay, this seems like a great church. And I, I'm going to go and hopefully have the same reception that I get every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And um, the first day that I went to Mothers Together, um, usually they would watch a, a video and, and discuss it, mm -hmm. and they would meet in the kids' room there at, at the San Mateo campus. And it was the first day of rain for the season. Okay. I think it was October 3rd. I don't know why I remember that day. But anyway, wow. it had rained, and so um, the power was out. Because I guess that's what happens sometimes. It, sure. it rains and the power goes out. <laughs> and I walked in and all the ladies were just kind of sitting there in the lobby. And, you know, everyone was like, oh, hi, welcome. Who are you? And tell us your name. And um, within probably five minutes, I was in tears sharing mm -hmm. my story with all these ladies I had just met. Mm -hmm. And... Um, they were so amazing. Um, it was just like, I felt like God saying, I have not abandoned you. Yeah. You are not alone. Mm -hmm. I am here. And you found your, your community. You found your home. Mm -hmm. um, sorry. You know, it's a, it's a very happy story. <laughs> but I can't help but cry every time I tell it because That's it's okay. just... You know, it kind of really um, defines our my my start here, my beginning here, yeah. and um, here in the Bay Area and here at Menlo Church. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, definitely, I kept going and got mm -hmm. to know these amazing women mm -hmm. who I miss. Mm -hmm. Getting together with regularly, <laughs> um, but still get to see some of them, mm, that's great. you know, regularly when mm -hmm. we go up there. And anyway, so, yeah, I decided, OK, I'm like, I want to get all in. Um, this is home. And yeah. my kids loved the student ministry. Mm -hmm. Well, my son was in the student ministry. My daughter was in the kids ministry. Um, I did starting point. Um, I also had attended a couple of the divorce recovery groups, not, it was years after Oliver had, but, um, but that was really difficult to do on a week night coming from Hayward and having the kids, but I went to a few and that was helpful. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, uh, formed a life group with, with other parents of, kids who were at students on Wednesday nights and um, our leaders, Joan, Jenny and Tony Chang, mm -hmm. still the leaders. And mm -hmm. we've got uh, five couples in our group now. Wow. Uh, and uh, it's wonderful to have, yeah, yeah, to be part of a community group and part yeah. of community and yeah. love and support and encourage and pray for one another. Mm. Um even through the pandemic time, we continue to meet on Zoom and yeah. keep in touch that way. So um, I became a greeter. I'm not sure if I already mentioned that. Throw that in. Um, but yeah, I just felt like this was home. This is where my friends were. This was our community. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah. Thank you. I'm not sure what else to say about that. No, Let's that, see if you I said a lot. Thank any, you. And then I at, did say a lot. At some point, <laughs> you two met. So we how did. did that happen? So um, we decided I would start because I kind of found him first. As you were practicing in the car on yes. the way over? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I think it was January of 2018, mm -hmm. I decided to go on Match.com, and I made my profile on Match.com, and um, was very, I said, I'm going to be very open, I'm going to just lay it out, this is who I am, and I think the first thing I wrote in my profile was, I'm a lover of God, and I'm a lover of people, mm -hmm. and um, 
kind of made it clear, like, if you're not a Christian, just just don't even bother. Um, and I wrote that I was involved at Menlo Church and mm-hmm. that I was a greeter mm-hmm. here and um, and that anyone, you know, I was looking for someone with similar heart. Yeah. Um, and so one day I was going through, you know, had the filter. First thing on the filter is Christian. Okay. And then nice. there's like an age range, you know, and mm-hmm. um, saw this <laughs> handsome guy. Hey. And then I was like, okay, he's a Christian. All right. I haven't seen his profile yet. And I'm going through and reading. And I was like, wait, he said he goes to Menlo Church. Okay. And I was like, oh, okay. I think I'll click on him. And uh, I didn't reach out, but I was like, okay, I'm just going to click. And I, I think I thought maybe it just sort of saved it. But then he saw that I clicked on him. And, and then yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, well, when you go on, like, Match.com, you don't even know. You put these filters of Christian, and people don't even, they say they're Christian, but they don't even mention what church they go to or anything. Okay. But Robin here, she put, like, Menlo Church, and she's a greeter. I'm like, wait, I go to Menlo Church, and I'm a greeter. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I messaged Robin. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> saying, like, uh, hello, fellow greeter, why don't we have some coffee? So, uh-huh. so wow. that's yeah. how it started. That's how it started. Okay. Yeah, and I happened, she... She's in San Mateo, and I, you know I'm, in, and I'm in Mountain View, but okay. I happen to work in San Mateo mm-hmm. at PlayStation. Okay. So, yeah. And um, and I, you know, we just met the uh, at the Starbucks nearby. So. Wow. Okay. And then, it was yeah we. we after, after we met, we just continued to see each other. Yeah. Every time she goes to Mothers Together, you know, okay. she would bring me like you know during lunchtime on Mondays, she would bring me to lunch. And oh, we would nice. Go out and you know in the park and. Yeah. Our picnic. So it was great. Yep. Wow. Getting to know each other. So. Yeah. Our picnic days. <laughs> and so, and then we we did the marriage course through oh, okay. Menlo, mm-hmm. and we had marriage mentors, yeah. um, Craig and Nancy Cameron. Craig and Nancy. And mm. they uh, and they guided us through a, a, the prepare enrich, prepare enrich. Mm-hmm. program. Mm-hmm. Did that, um, and then I. I really wanted to be married at the San Mateo campus and um, talked to Matt Stefan and he did that for us. So we had a wedding there because I just, anyway, it was home, you know, it's just such a huge part of my, my story. So we had a wedding there almost four years ago. Yeah. And uh, I think we're the first one that had a wedding at that campus. At that campus. (laughs) (laughs) Probably the only one so far. (laughs) Because then COVID hit, and there yeah. had, anyway, but okay. I don't know. Maybe there have been others, or there will be others. Sure. Anyway. Wow. Uh, yeah. So that's how we met. Yeah. What a story. And so after you attended a few of those, you know, Christmas services, that was at, I'm assuming, the Menlo Park campus, and then from there you went to the Mountain View campus, and that's where you got involved with greeting and things yeah. like that? Yeah, the... Um Actually, take that back. Um, you know, after the Christmas service, like my friend Jim Jang, he mm-hmm. invited me to go to, you know, as I mentioned earlier, to uh, the Mountain View campus. And because that's, I live in Sunnyvale at gotcha. the time. Okay. So that's closer to us. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he, you know, our kids were going to school at the same time. So, you know, I decided to, you know, get more involved with church there, you know, and, you know, because everybody's friendly, you know. And I was thinking one way to get, st- you know, my foot in the door or get started being involved with church was uh, being a greeter. Okay. So that's, you know, met, you know, go through, the, you know, I was hoping I'll meet somebody actually yeah. in a way. It's a great way to meet people. And Yeah. And I did. <laughs> and meet a special. And, and I met someone. Oh, <laughs> that kind of meet. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was great. And, you know, um and I also got involved with like other activities, like you know, there's a lot of like volunteer opportunities, and it was great. And you yeah. bring my kids, mm-hmm. um, and there were a lot of things we even we did. We'd serve our, a lot of serve our city events oh, that we yes. did together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whether it's like um, you know, putting like you know, you know, like feeding, feeding like the home, you know, putting up these meal kits together. It was great, you know, seeing my kids and everybody, and you know, or doing serve our city. And we did a few together too, uh, you know. Oh. That's as nice. we, you know, even 
still the today kids. we still with the kids oh. and without the kids so yeah. yeah so wow you know and i got involved with like you know man cave okay over there yeah and actually you know it was it was like you know i before i met her um mm-hmm. man cave you know it's um it's a group of guys like there's like 70 we meet like 6 30 in the morning uh over uh, at friday mm-hmm. you know once a week mm-hmm. and you know in my table it was like it was great it was a great experience because like you know we talk about scripture and i have a lot of these support um mm-hmm. uh, through there through my table mm-hmm. and you know i went through uh there were the guys were supporting me through my divorce mm-hmm. and I didn't mention, but my, my dad passed away, mm. um, actually the year that we met and, and through my marriage. So, yeah, but we get to see each other, support each other in various, mm-hmm. you know, inside, you know, outside of like uh, mm-hmm. man cave. Yep. It was, it was great to build that bond within my, uh, mm-hmm. my table. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. wonderful. And so now you have, Roots in Mountain View. You have roots in San Mateo. How does that work? Do you split the difference and you attend Menlo Park, or are you guys both in Mountain View, or like well, how how does that work? Are you both in San Mateo? What's going on yes. there? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 So first, yes to all of that. The first. The first so. two. So the first two um, weeks of the uh, first two Sundays of the month, we go to San Mateo, and then the last <laughs> okay. two uh, Sundays of the month. We go to Mountain View, okay. and if there's a fifth one, they'll fight it out, or we go to <laughs> Saratoga or something. Like that. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, because it would be both. We greet in both locations. Yeah, um, and so that's how we know a lot of the people we know yeah. in both locations, wow. and uh, um, through you know being as greeters and mm-hmm. uh, and and now we're we're going to yeah. be. Hi- we're moving up and doing Info Central okay. in Mountain View. Yep. So, yeah. We got promoted. We got promoted. Kind of got thrown into it, but I think we passed. <laughs> I yeah. think you did too. Yeah. 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 So. And our life mm. group is still in San Mateo. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but like our our other groups, you know, like my man caves in Mountain View, you have, you, you join mothers together in Mountain View. So, yeah. mm-hmm. and then I'm also doing like a, a Stephen ministry, which is we yeah. meet in the main campus. But I also meet people in San Mateo and, you know, wow. in Mountain View. So was... let's talk a little bit more about Stephen Ministry. What is that? Um, how did you get involved, and what are you currently doing with it? Um, Stephen Ministry is like a one-on-one care. Okay. Um, it's a Christian base, um, and it's uh, it's we're we're there to walk with you in Christ. Um, mm-hmm. And then we we are there. We we're, we're it's. We got trained for like, I think it was like almost like six months of training. It's pretty extensive. Uh, going through various mm-hmm. process of grief and losses because mm-hmm. people, so we're there for people to, to for their grief, you know, mm. for their loss, mm-hmm. whether it's a divorce, whether, whether it's uh, they lost uh, like a loved one, mm-hmm. lost a job, mm-hmm. um, going through sickness. Mm-hmm. And we're there to, you know, give them that one-on-one. And what intrigues me, cause I always want to be like a counselor or somebody to be there. Because I'm always, I have friends that I always like talk to. Yeah. And I felt like I'm, you know, I, I feel like I'm already doing Stephen ministry myself. And sure. like, why not be a Stephen minister, okay. go through the training. Um, and, you know, and the training is really great. I also, it, it teach me how to be an effective listener. I could apply all the skills to uh, both my spouse, my people at work, my kids. Yeah. <laughs> so it was great. And But there's miracles, you know, having uh, a care receiver and seeing all the miracles that happen, just walking. I can't give advice. You know, we're not there sure. to give advice, but okay. we're there to walk and process, help process their thoughts. Wow. And, you know, it's, you know, just praying for them. And it's just like, yeah. you know, there's just miracles that just happens and I just can't explain. Wow. It's just, okay. you know, a lot of it's confidentiality. Sure. But it's just, it's just, it's, it's very a special, yeah. special thing in life. So yeah. I'm glad I'm able to be involved with that. We are too. We're thankful yeah. for all of our Stephen ministers. Yeah. Um, it's, um, 
amazing work that you all are doing where you're choosing to enter into people when they or enter into people's lives when they're at their lowest or when they've experienced a loss and that's just such a a tender and shaping part of someone's you know who they are their identity their future and so it's it really takes a special kind of person to say that sounds like something i want to go and be with and so thank you very much for for all your work there and um and so for mothers together it found mm -hmm. it, it sounds like that was kind of that same role they entered into your life mm -hmm. in that same way and so yeah let's talk a little bit about about mothers together what it was okay. and um mm -hmm. what it meant to you mm -hmm. and then our hopes for it going forward yeah yeah uh so um i was part of the mothers together group in san mateo mm -hmm. and we were kind of a small group i think Maybe we maxed out at 16, okay. um, but it was wonderful because it was intimate yeah. and we all got to know each other. And I'm uh, guessing Mothers Together is for mothers to be together or what it, is? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yep. So mothers uh -huh. of uh, children of all ages. Okay. Um, and we would, yeah, kind of like Man Cave, watch a video, have mm. a discussion, mm -hmm. um, have breakfast together. Um there's childcare provided sure. for, for the young kids. And uh, when COVID started, mm -hmm. we continued on, online for a while. Yep. And then uh, eventually our main leader moved to Michigan mm -hmm. and another leader moved to Kansas. Mm -hmm. And um, it just, we just didn't have anyone to continue with it yeah. at, at the San Mateo campus. So two years ago, I started attending Mothers Together at the Mountain View campus. Okay. And um, initially, it felt it, it felt very different. And I I don't really know exactly how to say it was different other than I didn't know anybody there. <laughs> so yeah, of it was it just felt different. It was big, bigger, a lot okay. more people. Um, but I got involved with a table group and a wonderful group of women there too and so I go as often as I can um, and again we usually watch a video or have a speaker more often we have a speaker though we are going through the exploring God videos right oh, yeah. now mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah it's just it's a, a great thing we, we have we have moms who uh, don't have their own kids their stepmoms we have grandmas. I think we even have some great grandmas wow. there. And then we have, you know, moms of babies. Yeah. And uh, so it's great because there's all, so much support and um, encouragement. And, you know, many times, uh, most of the ladies in my group, mm -hmm. their kids are in college okay. and um, or in their 20s and so on. And my kids are teenagers still. But there's just a lot of wisdom, a lot of encouragement, a lot of, you know, like, you're in the trenches now. You're going to get through it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be okay. Um, and so it's, yeah, a wonderful ministry. And everybody's very friendly. And, sure. you know, when somebody joins a table, they're new. We're like, hey, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. great to meet you. And that's just so wonderful about Menlo is it's not like this exclusive clique or anything like that. Mm. It's you are welcome. Yeah. Everybody's welcome. Yeah. Um, and so I love seeing that, you know, played out in these yeah. groups in yeah. the, in Mothers Together and Man Cave and just Sunday right. mornings greeting. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you mentioned that because I could see how going to a group could feel like you're joining a club. And mm -hmm. so to hear that it's not that way, it's you want people to be involved with you because of the things that God is doing in that group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing mm -hmm. invitation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's wonderful. So um, I was also going to just throw in another way that kind of as a family we're involved is my daughter also uh, volunteers in the kids ministry at both San Mateo and Mountain View. Fun. And so that's fun, too, because yeah. um, people get to know her at both campuses. Okay. And she also attends student ministry at both campuses. Sometimes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Usually we still go on Wednesday nights. Mm -hmm. Um and sometimes she'll go Sunday afternoons in Mountain View. Fun. So, um, yeah, yeah. I remember her telling me maybe a year or so ago that she, I think we were at a volunteer event mm -hmm. at San Mateo, and she said, 
you know, I love coming up here because all these people come up to me and ask me how I'm doing, and I have no idea who they are, but it just <laughs> feels like home. Wow. This feels like home here, and um, it really has been the most stable place in mm. her life since we moved here. Sure. And so, yeah. Wow. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you both. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. As, as you reflected back on Menlo... And now we're we're capturing these stories in our kind of our 150 year anniversary, um, and wanting to to kind of think about the future as well. What are your hopes for Menlo going forward? So, I was giving some thought to this. Yeah, Do yeah. You want to speak? Well, because so. we were talking in the car about this, and I'm like, you presented some ideas, and you have a list, and I was like. That's what I see, and I agree. You know. Okay. What she That's says, good, right? <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. So. Prepared and rich has done you well. Yeah. And, rich. Yeah. <laughs> and Stephen ministry. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, for me, it's like uh, you know, I, I like how we get you know involved with like relationships, you know, with, uh, and then, I mean, more having more like a date night, doing things like that. And it was, it was really great. I mean, I mean, that was sort of a big thing, you know, and it's probably still is, you mm-hmm. know, and it's, and just being part of like, you know, I, you know, I was thinking one day we'll be like marriage mentors or to somebody, but there were a lot of, there's a lot of things that we want to do and mm-hmm. stuff. And I think you wouldn't want to, want to, you know, go over that mm-hmm. <laughs> too mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, so, Uh, As I think about Menlo Church moving forward, um, what I would love to see is more kind of support groups and gatherings Mm -hmm. for people who are experiencing experiencing things that unless you've gone through it, you can't, you can't understand. Mm -hmm. Single parenting, Mm -hmm. blended families, Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know those things, you know those, and uh, and it, it, like we have man, man cave and mothers together, but there are very few mm. people who've gone through these things mm-hmm. that, you know, I've been able to connect with. So anyway, I would love to see that just for the Menlo community and the community in general too. Um, you know, we looked for blended family groups mm. and couldn't find anything. Um, we tried to start one, um, I think it was kind of early 2020 and then, oh, of course. you know, yeah. what happened there. And then it just, we hadn't really picked up, but we just, we never got any real traction on it. Yeah. But, um, you know, one thing along that line that I, that I'm, uh, what do I want to say? Um, I, I just, along that line, I want to commend what Matt and Rochelle Summers are doing at the Mountain View campus. They've started a game night called Minds of All Kinds, and it's once a month, Mm -hmm. and it's an outreach for the neurodiverse community, and um, all adults are welcome, and I just, I think it's such a beautiful thing, because that's a niche area that you wouldn't necessarily think about an Mm -hmm. outreach to, Mm -hmm. and it's just fun, and, you know, for the Menlo community, for the community in general, and it's just a beautiful way to introduce people to, to the church, and show them you are loved yeah. and accepted mm-hmm. and um, welcome here. Yes. So I love to see more of that of course. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a lot of opportunity for that going forward. And I think if, if you are in agreement with this, you being the listener or the <laughs> viewer, and you would like to get involved and help launch one of these groups or say, yes, I want that too, or hey, I was thinking about this, you can. we'd love f- for you to let us know that. You can reach me, uh, I'll have my email below, as well as our number for our text in church, 650-600-0402. That comes to our online team here. Text us anything, prayer requests, or if you're like, hey, I, I'm also in a blended family, I've experienced that as well, I'd love to talk. Yeah. I'm sure it sounds like you too Get would us like connected. To. Yep. Yep. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much for coming on. Um, I know that this is very hard to share some things, but um, ultimately I had a wonderful time listening to you both. Um, your stories are really amazing to see what is happening when you say yes to God's call to say, I'll be in this place or I'll, 
I'll be vulnerable with people that maybe I just met and the amazing things that can come out of that. And so commend you both. Thank you so much for being here. And it sounds like if I'm ever at any campus that we have, I'll probably run into you. <laughs> so that's great. At least half of them. Yes. Half at least campuses, half of them. Well, right. my home campus was San Mateo. And uh -huh. so loved Eugene, love Matt Stefan. Uh, don't get to get there too often, but also have some ties to M Mountain View as well. Meet mm -hmm. with Matt Summers a lot. So thank you both. Mm -hmm. um, it was a pleasure having you on. And it was just an amazing conversation. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks, yeah.